Hello, here we are once again with Muki Tenenbaum. We are exploring through these videos his philosophy, his disillusionism, and trying to grasp the nostalgic theory about human behavior as aversion to suffering. And as many of you already know, week after week with this exercise, we've been trying to illustrate the concepts in the philosophy to apply some of these abstract ideas to everyday life, to events as they transpire. And we are now already in February 2022, very much amidst the COVID-19 pandemic still. And we are going to try and analyze, of course, from a disillusionist point of view, learning. Learning and training and the processes through which we acquire new abilities, new capabilities, and we are going to try and explain them from the point of view of disillusionism as glorified imitation, I would say. So we are going to speak about imitation really in this video and see if it helps us better understand misogic theory. Well, learning, as you say, uh, it's, it's a glorified way of imitation. Basically, when you are learning something, mostly, almost all of it will be imitating the teacher. Okay, so you're learning something, you imitate the teacher. If it's a book, you will imitate mm. the information mm. that comes from the book. You, you will have to, of course, imagine what the book says, and then you will try to do it. Mm. Uh, yesterday, I had, a, my, I had a, new, a, a new tablet I bought, and uh, I needed to, uh, to put a, a, an extra memory, and it didn't work, so I had to format the memory. And I went to YouTube, and after 20 seconds, I was doing exactly as the guy said, and it, it worked, yes? This is something we do every day. There is the gap, that, so we learn, and when we mm. learn, we imitate. The important thing, why do we need to imitate is because this will be part of the way we sleepwalk. And let me explain once again what is sleepwalk. There is really three, three states in which we can be. Sleeping, intentional, making, mm -hmm. making decisions, and what is 95% of the time we are awake, sleepwalking. What do I mean by sleepwalking? We are not thinking. We are, we, we are just uh, um, enchaining, putting one chain after the other mm -hmm, yes, mm -hmm, of, of mm -hmm. habits into something wrong. In this case, it's a very good, uh, uh, a very good idea. If, I learn, if I'm learning Taekwondo or another martial art, I have to imitate. But imitate is not enough because I need it to be part of the sleepwalking. I cannot be thinking about it. The whole idea of learning is not to think about it, but this will come automatic. So when I say to you, what is five times seven? You will say 35 without thinking about it. It will mm -hmm. be the, even the music. Yes. You know, when we learn in, in Argentina, we used to learn, I don't know if in the States was the same, but we used to learn the, the, the multiplication uh, mm -hmm. uh, tables yes, that's, uh, mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't almost, almost as a song, yes, because mm -hmm. it has to be automatic, everything has to be automatic, so we can sleepwalk because when we sleepwalk, and when we sleep we don't suffer and th that's a great, the great thing about it you don't mm -hmm. suffer, but we are not aware of what's happening, yes uh, it's not that we are sleeping, it's not that we are we have lost consciousness, it's the, the awareness, the, the one that brings in the intention now, as I said, it is about 95% of the, of the waking day. I would say, that dep depending on the studies, it's about 20 minutes a day in which you are in an intentional mood. Now, when you are in an intentional mood, that's not enough because most of the intentional moods in which 20 minutes in aggregate, of course, it, it could be, do I choose vanilla or chocolate? Yes. Uh, or do I choose to take the bus or the train home today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, is the, <clears throat> this is most of my, our decision. Only at those moments, we are open for suffering. So the most important thing is to be as little awake as possible. So, and, and, and that is not even a decision, that we do it automatically. Why? Because what we do is misalgia, averting suffering. We try to avert suffering, and the most, the easiest, and the, and the, most, the most common way to do it is either sleeping, that you have a limit, and uh, uh, sleepwalking. In fact, all our work we do, most all of our work is, by, is in sleepwalking mode. It's not in an intentional mode. Even if you're an astronaut or, or a window or a high-rise window cleaner, it doesn't matter. You are always sleepwalking. That's the idea. So why am I, I, am I saying that? Because in the, in, when, when you, you imitate, it, it ensures it, that you will be in sleepwalking mode when you do things. And that mm. imitation needs 
training. Now, what is training? In, in imitation, regular imitation, I'm imitating a, a, another person or, an, or, 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 or a group of persons, doesn't matter. But when I'm training, I am imitating myself. So when you are doing, you, you are learning Taekwondo or, or box, yes, you have to learn to automatically respond to any of, of, of the movement somebody else does. So in that situation in which you are like this, you want it to be automatic. If you are not automatic, you're going to lose. Intention doesn't bode well for the success of this. So Florencio, with all this big long speech, what do you say about this? <laughs> no, I can see even in your examples, how the role of repetition is fundamental in training, in learning. But uh, contrary to general opinion, I would say, because it prevents us from thinking, because it prevents us from making decisions. But these cases of imitation, I would say, are cases of imitation in which the one who is being imitated wants to be imitated. I'm thinking about martial art teachers and the like. And these are cases in which suffering is alleviated or avoided, averted through imitation. I wanted to ask you about other instances in which imitation could be in itself a source of suffering. As when we imitate other ones who don't want to be imitated, we copy other ones who would rather not be copied and we insult them that way, we mock them that way or even we, we steal from them because we learn from them procedures they wouldn't want us to learn. So I wanted to ask you about the dark side of imitation, as it were. Well, it's very interesting because there is a, a whole line. You can imitate somebody that wants to be imitated, very much mm -hmm. so, teacher. In fact, you pay mm -hmm. them, so they will, they, will, they will teach you. Teaching means that, means mm -hmm. I'm interested in that. Then you have the influencers, okay, in which... They, they want to be imitated. They are not your teachers, but they want mm -hmm. to be imitated. And then you start going into the area in which you imitate something that is totally neutral. Yes, somebody, some, somebody's uh, way of uh, dealing with, uh, with, with uh, repairing something at home. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, at that part, I need to imitate because I have no idea how to, how to solve <laughs> most of uh, my, my, home, my home problems. But the, the idea of imitation there is neutral. Then, then you also have the mocking. Mocking yeah. is imitating somebody to waking up, to wake him up from mm -hmm. uh, uh, sleepwalking. Not in an altruistic way, mind mm -hmm. you, but in a way to, to make the other one suffer. So you are making somebody else suffering. And both sides, the mocker and the mo the moki, <laughs> the one who is being who is being mocked, both of them are in an intentional mode. Yes. But remember, sometimes we mock, we, we Sometimes the, the person being mocked thinks that I am mocking, and maybe I'm not. I'm just thinking about something else. Now, you are doing it like this because you want to, 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 uh, to laugh at me. And here there is a whole issue that we are not living in this video about offense and about, mm. uh, about uh, you, you know, or, or the, the, the whole idea of, of um, uh, how, how, I, how I would say, making somebody else suffering with just words. Yes, mm. uh, this, the, using words, or, or gestures as a way to make somebody else suffering. This is, and in this case, well, they don't want to be imitated. So here you have a whole, the, the whole uh, uh, horizon of imitation, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. um, let me remind you one thing more that's very important. From our side, when we imitate, we are saving energy. And as mm -hmm. any other animal, we will, we are programmed to save as much energy as possible. So when we are in an intentional mode, Florencio, we think uh, we, we, we are uh, we're using 10 times more energy in our brain than when we're sleepwalking. So when we imitate, we just are saving 90% of energy. That's a lot. Talking of taking account that 20% of all our energy needs are used by, uh, by our brain. So I, I would say that, uh, that this, this, but then you also have illegal imitation. If you, mm. uh, you, you know, if you if you if you uh, uh, imitate somebody's music, or 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 uh, which is plagiarism, or you you, uh, you you take somebody's invention and make 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 another one, yes, and and sell it, that kind of uh, of behavior is is punished. <clears throat> Why? Because imitation has to be. Uh, if there is a framework for it. So there is mm. a framework in school. That's one way of imitating. There is a framework 
in, in, in your daily life from your parents, from your family, from your friends, or from influencers. And then there is the framework that limit, puts limits to it. It's, it's, like, it's like a framing in which you cannot imitate other people's intellectual property, something we spoke about many, many, a few months ago about the value of intellectual property. So what do you think about that, Florence? It's we, we are almost out of time already, but following on this thread, I wanted to ask you about uh, originality and the value of originals as opposed to copies. Because my guess is in our society, there is also a whole epic surrounding original behavior, original stuff, original creations, and creativity as such is being touted as, I would say, the most relevant, the most important aspect of human life. In our days, it, it was not always so, but th there is a part of this story that has to do with that, I think. Well, you, in a conversation we had about this issue a few, a few weeks ago, you told me that uh, uh, until the 17th century, creativity was frowned upon. Nobody liked creativity. You are supposed, if you were a good, a good artist, you should imitate the best, the, the, the ones before you. And that happens till the, the, the 17th century. I guess that until uh, also uh, people start knowing about each other, I mean, the, the world became mm. much, much, much closer with that, uh, you know, when it appears all, uh, all kind of um, uh, uh, technological advances like the telegraph and, the, and, and of course, uh, uh, everything that has to do with, uh, with the printing press. So that changed a lot. But since then, we had a, a time in which originality and imitation shared, uh, shared the, the space. But mm. now, now creativity is the most. In fact, one of the interesting things about creativity is it cannot be imitated. You can imitate <laughs> the result of creativity, mm -hmm. but you cannot imitate mm -hmm. creativity. That means this is an ability, and that ability now is recognized. And sometimes it's useful, and sometimes it's nothing. Mm -hmm. In art, it is, it is very common, and sometimes it's, it's in, in economy. Sometimes it's in, mm -hmm. in an economical, uh, I'm sorry, in a, in, in a way the markets behave. Mm -hmm. So, so you have uh, NFTs and you have uh, mm -hmm. bitcoins, and so th this kind of things, originality are are, are now uh, uh, again epics. Yes, uh, as teaching and learning means really imitating. Mm -hmm. Yes, here is the mm -hmm. same. Creativity means somebody come up, uh, who who is going out, who is not sleepwalking, and here is very important that if you have you create something to be to be able to create to be to become original. You have to do it intentionally. If not, it's a discovery. So mm. Fleming, when he discovered the, the first antibiotic, he discovered it. He didn't invent. Okay, he then invented something. Maybe how to use it. It doesn't matter. But that is discovery. When Columbus is discovered America, he was not being original. He was not creative. He just uh, stumbled upon something. He thought it was it was uh, China, and it was, it was quite different. <laughs> I have to say, from what he was supposed to see. So mm. today, creativity. Again, it is, it, 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 we went through the other side of, of, of logic. Now everything is creativity and to imitate is not, is not that anybody can imitate. You are a monkey sometimes. Okay? Mm. What you, mm. monkey does, you don't know, no? Mm. Monkey see, monkey does. <laughs> well, in fact, mm. that's what we are, yes? <laughs> very good. Okay, we'll see each other next time, Mugi. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you enjoyed the video, Please like it, comment and subscribe.